welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Brianna and today on this film we are actually going to learn how to groom a chow, a chow chow. So it's going to be a lot of fun, so tune in. So right now I want to show you what tools we are going to use on him. So if you look down the table here below, you'll see everything set up. Now chows are big dogs, we have a cool lube, so make sure our blades stay cool. We have our rake to get the undercoat underneath all his thick hair. So chows have an undercoat then? Huh? Yes, they have, two, they have two coats, so they take a while to dry. Um, we have our thinning shears right here to get underneath the undercoat also. We have our slicker brush. We have a large one and a small one. The small one is for the feathers, the large one is for the body. We have our blades here, our number 10s on how to shave the sandy trim, all that kind of stuff. Our chow is all prepared, bathed and everything for us, so we will not be showing the sandy trim, but we are going to be showing you how to do the feather work and everything on him, and then also a lion cut on him. So we will show you how to use that. We have our greyhound comb, which you can also, a lot of groomers call it a fluffer comb, but we use this a lot. And then when we do the feathers, we have our, have our hand dandy scissors. We have the eight and a half inch curved scissors here. And then we have the seven and a half straights. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have our handy book by Sam Cole, just like everywhere else. Use like all the other videos we're using, we have it in there. We have it marked. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle in the throat. We have a Chow Chow page marked here. So here's our Chow Chow. They are the most dog that looks like a bear. They have round ears, they have a full undercoat, big chest. You will see this. So in here you'll see every number marked on him. What we're supposed to do to the paws, what we're supposed to do to the ears, what we're supposed to do to the mane, everything, all the feather work and everything. So when we see these numbers here, it actually shows you over here these numbers of what to do in those steps that they're numbered on. So the this picture. is the pattern of a chow. This is the pattern, yeah. How to clip them just like you would use a pattern to maybe sew a shirt or cut a, the, you know, cut the material, the, clo exactly. the cloth, and then make the shirt. And go right from there. Okay. So there we go. We'll go, we'll go get our chow for you. Alrighty. So I'll go ahead and pause and uh, we'll yeah, grab the chow. Here's Capone, the chow I was just talking about. Say hi, Capone. He's got a cute <laughs> face. He's got a. He is a low love bum. He's not like a true chow. He's all love. So, so here on the chow, what we're going to show you right now on this chow, we're going to show you how to do the feather work on them. And feather work is going to be the back end, the back feather behind the hook. It's going to be the toe hair, a little bit of the skirt, front feathers behind the front legs. And a lot, what they get, they get their whiskers taken off their face. Not like a cat. Not huh? like a cat, you don't take, yeah. <laughs> if you watch the cat video, you'll see you're not supposed to take those off. And then what you do is you actually take a lot of these feathers off around the ears with your thinning shears to make them look a little more round, so they look more like a bear. When these guys are puppies, they look like a little black bear walking around. So, so that's, uh, so then if somebody just wants their dog uh, groomed. Yeah, you bring them in, bathe them, wash them, wash them really good because they're undercoat fluff dry them. You're going to be using this rake when you dry them and just brush them really good when you dry them. And then you do the feather work and he's ready to go. And that's it. And that's it. And then after that we're going to do the line clip. Then the owner of this dog actually wants a line cut done on him so it's going to be a lot of fun. Half his body is going to be shaved. So we'll show you that step after we've done the feather work. With the lion tail? <laughs> With the lion tail, they do. They want the lion pom-pom on the tail. Okay, let's get let's started. Let's get started. So what I'm going to first do, I'm going to get started on his feathers. I always work from the back up. It's okay, Capone. So it's always okay to talk to them when, when they're on the table. I see you wrapped your left uh, arm under around. Under like this. Under. Like this. Uh -huh. I grab his tail through here and hold him up so uh -huh. I have control. Wonderful. So there you go. Practice, practice. Exactly. So in the back feathers, I am going to be using my eight and a half inch curves. And you can go up, you can go down, whatever you feel more comfortable with. I feel comfortable with 
down. And what you do, feathers naturally grow on a curve, so you want to keep them looking as natural as possible. And that's why you're using your curved scissors to go around and clean them up. Now a lot of breeds request this, um, a lot of Aussies, a lot of Golden Retrievers, and you always want to stay shaved off, this and you go to the head right behind the skull. So you actually look like a fluffy head. That's what, that's what a mounted head is. And everything else is shaved. How about the legs and the... Everything comes off. Everything comes everything off. Comes wow, off. that's what the mounted that's line That's a mounted. They pretty much look like a bare naked chow running around <laughs> this big head. So, yeah. so there, there's a thing. That's the, uh, the line cut for them. Well, thank you very much, Brianne. And thank uh, you for watching this video and um, tune in for other videos. Um, at least watch this video three times to get this down um, and to be able to know how to properly blend the main into the body. So thank you for watching.